closer. Yes. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's my honor. For the second time, I was able to get uh, Colleen uh, to do a quick uh, kind of uh, interview, I would call it conversation, like a discussion. Uh, one we did like a year ago, maybe in February, at yes. the uh, Couture Fashion Week. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is our first shoot since then. We spoke a number of times. But this is finally we shot today with uh, designer Anita. She just left, uh, and another model, Eva and uh, Nikolai. Yes. Uh, how was your experience? Oh, it was great. Um, I liked the dresses. The dresses were so great and. Uh, it was all leathers, it was so fancy, so great. And also the locations was uh, great, we went on the boats and uh, it was a little bit rainy, but uh, that's a okay. <laughs> yes. You, you didn't get, we didn't get that cold and it's like a really um, nice team. We operate pretty yeah, fast. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, Even the fast. trains kind of run slow and mm -hmm. we had to wait, but uh, everybody been patient and uh, we shoot really fast and uh, I think Yes. Uh, it was a nice production. Can you talk a little bit about who you are? Like, what do you do? Like, uh, why do you model? Like, uh, what's the story behind you? Like, I know you do animation. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes, sure. Um, well, my name is Colleen and uh, I'm half Persian, half Turkish. And uh, I'm, uh, I've lived in Iran my whole life and then uh, moved to the United States. In Is there many models in Iran? Yes, I started in uh, Iran, actually, modeling job. Uh, when I was so young, but It's I so much uh, like a kind of uh, religion and uh, like uh, yes. certain boundaries uh, there. Like, uh, what what's the difference? Like, uh, like uh, not open skin, maybe? Like, uh, like yes, is that's like, so like, true. Is there like uh, conditions what guys can do, what girls can do? Is there like a... Uh, like at, at some point, I know Iran was a very modern country. And now it's like a, a lot more religious in that sense. Yes, actually, the government is very religious. They're like a Muslim Islamic government. So, uh, if uh, we d we don't uh, wear a scarf, it's against the law. So uh, we used to do uh, like underground modeling, which wow. is uh, like um, it's not. Um, our pictures wasn't like uh, you, you risk your TV. life, you risk uh, you can go yes, to jail for was, that. Yes, exactly. Very dangerous. <laughs> yeah. like, uh, like, do you have a family back home who can get hurt for that? Or like, um, or, like would, if they let's say they watch this video and they see, oh, she did it and we can we want to hurt her. <laughs> no, her, actually. Everybody's here. Uh, no, I have family there, but uh, it was me who doing against the law, so not they, them. So. So, so they would not be hurt <laughs> no. because of your misdemeanor. No, no, no they okay. not <laughs> no, Why fine. would you break the law for fashion? Because I love modeling and uh, I thought that uh, wearing a scarf all the time, it's not what I believe in. So um, I, um, I decided to do whatever I like. Mm -hmm. I like to do like bridles, I like to do like dresses, all those fashion and uh, like runways, mm -hmm. catalogs. So um, I went for that. And Do you uh, think the modeling w can change the world? And uh, if people see that uh, more Muslim girls like you, uh, Persian girls, uh, kind of participate in the fashion and beautiful and uh, beautiful dress, maybe the folks uh, uh, back home will reconsider and uh, start, you know, be more modernized and uh, like open for like western ideas or even i wouldn't say western ideas i think modeling starts actually in asia and like middle east so i, like, uh, so. uh, I think the it's actually other way around it's just you know kind of now they're you not know, showing but remember those girls like you know mm -hmm. dancers and stuff it's very you know pretty open a lot of open space uh, open body Yes, actually the the people are not that religious over there. It's mostly the government. So if the government go, <laughs> goes away, it's uh, um, it's gonna be very open and nice. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, what what about like uh, uh, I I know at least maybe maybe two three 
girls from like, who call themselves Persian girls mm -hmm. and uh, they in modeling but not that many like mm -hmm. uh, why, why is that uh, like is most of the like, uh, girls that I know from that part of the world they mm -hmm. want to be lawyers doctors like you know mm -hmm. some kind yes, of uh, a yeah. profession that makes lots of money and the honorable and uh, anything to do with fashion and uh, beauty it's considered to be kind of uh, uh, like a prostitution or like a, something like a, a, with negative connotation mm -hmm. how that could be changed like is there like a possibility to br bring a little bit of light that this is actually honorable and you know girls wants to be pretty it's like you want to yes. be a princess you want to look like you know uh, pretty there is nothing wrong with the like silly dresses yes uh, um, I think um, uh, mostly the, uh, the advertisements uh, make a job good or bad but I think all the jobs are good and uh, everyone should go after the I get in the shot yes. also. Uh, everyone should go after their uh, talents so um, and also I, I believe that uh, modeling doesn't stay with us forever because we get old and we, can, we have to put it away some somehow someday mm -hmm. so I think uh, we should have another job like a main job to uh, to uh, have forever of like, course but uh, yes. you know sometimes you can model even older f folks like I, yes. I model recently and I'm like the 40s or six something uh, years old and uh, you know sometimes people who are 50s and 60s uh, model like you yes. need to sell products for the older uh, folks as well yes uh, that's, what is that's the true. Um, kind of the the premises uh, be behind like why you model mm -hmm. Um, I like to do modeling as much Why? as I can <laughs> because uh, that's my favorite job, a side job. And uh, mm -hmm. and how so do you find your gigs? They look at your Instagram. They oh, um, reach out to you. Like yeah, at the beginning I was. Uh, I don't, I'm not working with agencies, so uh, it's all myself. I uh, work as a freelancer. So at the beginning I started uh, by. Um, um, with the Model Mayhem website Model Mayhem. and uh, yeah, and um, going to fashion weeks and Excuse all that me. stuff. Oh, go ahead. Uh, and after a while, um, it was like just me uh, posting pictures on Instagram, and uh, uh, photographers and uh, designers come to me. And they How asked do you me choose to which pictures to post and which not? Like we did the shoot today, right? We're gonna probably mm -hmm. have maybe a thousand pictures by me and Nikolai. You're not gonna be able to post all thousand pictures, yes, even exactly. some of them are really good. How do you how do you figure out which to post and which not? Is it because mm -hmm. it's made on your phone or, or at that moment, or it's like the first pictures that you get from the photographer, or it's like a particular rock, or like a frame, particular background, particular like memory with the picture? How do you yes. figure out which ones to post? Yes, I'm very selective about my posts. Uh, that's why I don't have that much post on Instagram. And uh, I'm so care about uh, what people like. Uh, like my pictures get a lot of likes and comments. So I'm very selective about that. Like what's the selection process? Like yes. what, what, do you, what do you consider? Like how do you make yeah, a decision? Something beautiful, something uh, stylish with good dress and good location or very artistic something mm -hmm. yeah I would do like, but what's what do you consider artistic what's a good look um, like interesting colors or like emotions like how do you build empathy yeah emotions in pictures? and poses mm -hmm. and the location and the dress all, all are important like, does it matter like how do you feel that moment like uh, does it inspire particular or like uh, you know feeling or you was happy that moment or it was uh, scary that or, like remember when we feed the geese that was a, f a fun uh, moment when you uh, kind of walk on the boat that that was a fun moment so like uh, when uh, like i don't know like the pictures of mostly with a ba white background they kind of plain they we need them for the catalog but it's mm -hmm. they don't pro provide much empathy there like uh, how do you which like right now you haven't seen the pictures if you without seeing the pictures which one would you post uh, I would post the one that I jumped on the boat. <laughs> it was my favorite. Oh, the one that Nikolai <laughs> showed you, because that's the one yeah. that you showed on his camera. Yes, I should see the other one also. But <laughs> okay, but that, that it's was so my far the, the so top far, one. Yes. Gotcha. Uh, 
can you talk a little bit about your animation uh, career? Like, uh, how do you find the gigs for animation? Like, uh, where uh, it comes from? Sure. Um, I have a full-time job for animation for uh, at my current company that I'm working for. It's uh, about four years that I've worked, worked there. And then um, uh, for the side jobs, um, I, I usually post the stuff on Instagram again. And people ask me, can you make a little animation for me? <laughs> and say, mm -hmm. yes, why not? And then uh, my website uh, is available. And I, whenever I go um, to um, award ceremonies or something, I give away my cards and yeah, ma make some connections that way. Okay. Yeah, what about your family? Do they approve you in the fashion and animation world? Or do they want you to be more like maybe serious? Like, is that something that they enjoy uh, seeing? Yeah, my family are happy when I'm, I am happy, mm -hmm. so cool. uh, they are like me to follow uh, my, my talent and okay. what it all like. Uh, uh, prior to this interview, I mentioned that uh, you mostly concentrate on pictures and mm -hmm. uh, fashion, but I, I think that uh, uh, one of the uh, discussions that we had recently that mm -hmm. uh, Sophie Loren, when she was young, uh, she looks a little bit uh, uh, similar to Colleen. And uh, we're gonna try to do uh, maybe a soon a uh, shoot with Colleen uh, posing as young Sophie Loren. Hopefully uh, Sophie Loren would not be uh, offended with that. Or we will uh, make it appropriate and uh, you know proper so we, we're not looking to embarrass anybody. Um, do you think that, uh, uh, I, I think that you have, because you have very interesting voice, hopefully this condensed mic will capture the uh, temperature and the like, uh, warmth of uh, what you have in your voice and uh, movement, so because pictures nice but you can retouch them you can edit them mm -hmm. so you, you can even if a person not looking like really interesting you can you can make a picture interesting mm -hmm. with your post-production especially with all these tools that's available to yes. us with the video it's a little bit more difficult than that if you yes. don't have the look if you don't have a particular way of moving around mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how you pose the uh, position the camera if you don't have it like video would not be able to edit that much yes. and voice is, is another thing that uh, there are a lot of tools to play with the voice but mm -hmm. uh, if you got it you, you got it it's like you have such a kind of unique uh, accent like I wouldn't say accent like or your own way of saying things mm -hmm. like uh, maybe you can get more like a voiceover gigs and hopefully maybe you will enjoy those and do more of those uh, do you have uh, a closing argument uh, uh, why you're the best model for the show? If you need to oh. pitch them, like, uh, why, why to hire you as a model? Like, uh, how would you pitch yourself? Um, I have a long experience for modeling, like about nine, ten years, something. I'm in modeling, uh, so, uh, uh, so you, I know how to pose. I know different ways of my face, my body, my body, how to pose mm -hmm. and. Um, I also um, I know how to walk, and uh, I think those are important. And I've done different variety of the modeling gigs, like uh, music videos, or commercials, or all that stuff. Cool. So yes, uh, uh, do we have permission to post this interview? Uh, yes, sure. Okay, I will remind them what's your Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is Colleen Animation. Uh, should I spell that? Yes, uh, please. C O L I N E and animation A N I M A T I O N. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please check out Colleen uh, Instagram. Uh, she does have uh, really cool pictures there and the videos. Thank you. Thank you.